Hello brothers and ladies. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today good people, I will show you what you've been asking for a long time. Versace on my wrist, baby make a wish You could sell your Rari but you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist, baby make a wish You could sell your Rari but you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist, baby make a wish You could sell your Rari but you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist, baby make a wish You could sell your Rari but you can't afford my outfit. Quick thing before we start, you will need a third party plugin for this. In order to create the background visuals move, this plugin is called Freck React by Davy Studio. There's a paid and a free version available on Davy's website. It's a very handy plugin. I love it because it made my life easy when it comes to dealing with audio spectrum videos. Definitely go and check out. Alright. So click this little button to make a new composition. Name it as main calm and check the settings 25 fps etc. Hit ok when you are done. It is always good to open title action safe margin to keep everything aligned. Now put the song on your timeline. song seems to be shorter than the composition. So I will drag this blue thingy and match it to the song's length. After that I will click on trim comp to work area. Now we are good to go. Select the text tool and listen where he starts to sing. Somewhere about here. We have text tool selected. Now click on your screen and type the first line. Put it in the middle. Select pan behind tool and move the anchor point in the middle of the text. You can change the font if you like. I think this font looks good. Select the text layer and hit P on your keyboard to open position. Click the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Go back a little and change the value to make it go downward. Play it and see if it is moving fast or slow. It is too slow, so I will put keyframes closer until I feel the speed is good. I will go forward a little bit where the singer ends this line. Click the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Go forward a little and change the value. This time make it go upward. Select all keyframes, right click and easy ease them. While they are selected, go to the graph editor. Make sure you are working in speed graph mode. Zoom in a little bit, so we can see the curves. Make something like this. Go back to the timeline. Adjust the keyframes timings and trim the layer. Put fade in plus out effect to your text layer. Set the values to about 4 and 5 percent. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a 
like a wish you All right, while the layer is selected make a duplicate. Open duplicates position. Select all the keyframes. Now grab this little square icon carefully, and pull it down. Make sure you don't add any random keyframes by mistake. After that just overwrite the duplicate. Push the duplicate layer a bit forward, so we have a little delay in both movements. Now select both text layers. Duplicate them. Put both duplicates above. Move them forward where he starts to sing the next line. Now overwrite both layers with new lines. Put the two duplicates to where he starts to sing. If it goes too quickly, just open both positions, and adjust the keyframes. I chose this song, because it doesn't have many lyrics to type. Since he is singing the same 4 lines, I'm just going to duplicate the layers, and put them to their timings. When you are done writing the text, select all the text layers and pre-compose them. Make sure your settings match mine. Open position of this layer, hold alt button and click this stopwatch. In this typing field you have to type what I'm typing. By doing this your text will have random movements. Put drop shadow effect to the layer. Now you can put the background image to your timeline. Adjust the size to match your screen. This looks perfect. Alright, make a new composition. Call it visuals. For this, you have to make it super long. Like I will make it 80 minutes long. 8080 minutes. Hit OK when you are done. You will see a black screen. Choose any shape tool. Make sure you have fill color turned on and stroke is turned off. Start making shapes, any shape will work. Make another shape, change the color for this one. Just keep making shapes with different colors. I have made a lot of shapes. Now I will add an adjustment layer. Put directional blur effect to it. Adjust the blur amount. Change the angle to make it look like light streaks. 
put turbulent displace effect to it. Change the amount and size to your liking. Alt click this stopwatch, where it says offset. In the typing area, type this. We have slow movement going on with the shapes. Now go back to your main comp. From the project panel put the visuals to your timeline. Put this below the text layer. Right click the visuals layer, go to time, and enable time remapping. Select the audio layer, click this blue plus button under Freck React plugin. Here type kick bass, it is the name of your audio profile. Make sure full layer is selected, then click on create button. It will take you to a new screen, where it will ask you to define the bass part from the music spectrum. Usually the bass is on the left side of this spectrum. Listen to the song, and see where it hits the bass frequency. Alright, let's put this square to the base area. After that click on bake button. It will take a while to load and set up the things for you. When it's done, it will take you back to your main composition. You will see this property on your audio layer. After that click this timer map text, then click on react button to apply the effect. Choose pulse mode. Now we have these properties on our left side. I will put 5 under x intensity, any number could work you can experiment. Turn on additive mode, you can add a bit of smoothness, when you play the song. The background visuals will move every time as the bass hits. If it feels too slow, you can always change the intensity to something higher. Now make a new adjustment layer. Put brightness effect to it. Open the effect under layer, select brightness and click react button once again. Put the intensity value to something high for this. Add some smoothness for a soft effect. Let's copy the wiggle code from the text layer. Paste it to the background image. Lastly, put HLS effect to the visuals. Change the hue to shift the colors. I like this color. Alright my people, this was all for this tutorial. I hope this was helpful, and if it was helpful, make sure you subscribe, and do all the necessities. I will be back with more tutorials, and music casually. Till then goodbye.